Okay guys, um, this is uh, your third civics lecture um, and your last one for chapter one. Chapter one is a really small chapter. So um, we are going to finish these things up today and then um, do a couple of things over the next few days to make sure we've got our materials turned in, you guys have everything lined up and then you will probably have some type of test on this, I would say on Thursday of this week, okay? So let's just play it on Thursday as being the day that I will uh, be giving you guys some type of exam um, over this material. I did uh, send you a class assignment with the entire PowerPoint and the notes. Again, I'm just asking that you uh, continue to check your stream, right? Keep looking at that stream every day. Please go there, watch the CNN Top 10, see what messages I have for you. But I can also put more material uh, in terms of assignments in the classwork part of Google Classroom as well. Um, any questions ever come up, please just reach out to me. But uh, we're gonna wrap this up really quick. There's not much left uh, in terms of these notes. It's a short lecture. And then tomorrow I'll have some, uh, some work for you to do um, that will help us to kind of, like I said, wrap things up. And then Wednesday might be some type of review uh, for things, maybe up here with me on the board talking about certain stuff. And then your test will be Thursday, okay? And we'll be done with chapter one. So remember, uh, you've had two assignments so far. Uh, one was done and turned back to you. If you have not done it yet, you still have the opportunity to get some points for it, so please turn it in. And then assignment two is due today, but I need you just to be turning these things in so I can get you those points. I know we're, we might have some issues with our internet or, or getting online or, or whatnot, so please turn those assignments in even if they're late. I'm asking you to do that, okay? So we're gonna finish up. We were talking about different groups of people and uh, we discussed on uh, Thursday or Friday, we talked about uh, the major groups of individuals. We had European, we had Hispanic, uh, African, and Asian is the other one where we kind of finished up. And when we're talking about the Asian people, we're talking about individuals from China and Japan. Um, they are obviously coming from the Pacific Ocean, while the other groups of individuals we talked about were coming from the Atlantic Ocean, okay? So they're coming uh, from China and Japan. They are all about the gold rush that's going on in California right now, building a railroad from California to New York City. They're gonna play a huge role in that. And then uh, the Japanese are showing up as well because uh, living on that tiny island, they're looking for a fresh start as well. It seems like a lot of people came here looking for that fresh start with the exception of what group that you should all know, those African-Americans who were not brought here by choice. They were brought here by force. So the other groups, while looking for that fresh start, uh, the Asian uh, situation is really no different. These people coming over and landing on the, on the West Coast, okay? The problem is we didn't, uh, the European Americans, I should say, uh, that were moving in from the Oregon Trail, uh, which if you've ever heard of the Oregon Trail, where you go from Missouri to Oregon, they were not happy with all the Asian uh, people that were arriving on the coast of California. Uh, so they asked for help and there were actual laws put into place to exclude um, any more people from China and Japan in, to uh, enter the United States. Uh, laws that were put on, in writing um, in Washington, D.C. and they were actually not repealed until 1952. Now that date may sound a little bit familiar, but if you know World War I, uh, excuse me, World War II ends in 1945, uh, there's things like Pearl Harbor, which we'll discuss. If you give me in U.S. history next year, we'll talk about it in great detail. So that resentment of especially Japanese Americans still um, was there all the way up until 1952 when we finally said, we can't do this anymore. If you want to come to our country, we should be able to come to our country. Okay? So then we get to the last part here, which is the first Americans. We're on the bottom of your notes from here, and then we'll flip to the back. And we know that it was the Native Americans, okay? Native Americans have been here for thousands of years. You can trace them coming all the way across from um, the Bering Strait up at the tip of Alaska into Canada, right down the Mississippi River, all the way to the tip of South America. Um, these people were nomads who continued to move. And we also know that the oldest known civilization is right here. You guys live in an area that is just rich with Native American history from the Cahokia um, people and the Cahokia mounds and all of those different things. Our population today, uh, how do we figure it out? Well, we do something called a census, okay? 
So this is actually the year of the census. You may have been at home and gotten a little knock on the door from someone wearing a mask and gloves, asking about how many people live in your, uh, in your home or in your dwelling. Uh, you may have gotten something online. You may have gotten something in the mail. Your, your parents or guardians may have gotten something. Um, we try to find out where the population is and where it's shifting, and we do that through a census, which is actually uh, 2020, every, every 10 years, and this is the, the most recent one. Um, there's a page in your book, page 17. Uh, do not worry about the questions again. Do not worry about answering those. Um, you simply can read about it and know that our population is shifting. Um, Illinois actually has more people leaving than are coming in at this time. Uh, there's a, this is a constant thing that takes place across the country. And uh, you kind of start to think to yourself, where would you want to live? You know, where would you possibly go from here? And then in 2020, when you guys are all adults and you you got these high paying jobs making more than I do, uh, you will hear that knock at the door with an individual asking how you're doing and wanting to know, you know, your family and how many people live with you and uh, whatever territory you, or whatever place you end up in, okay? Um, on the back, we're to the very end here. Uh, this is section three notes. It's really simple. You actually don't have to fill anything in or nothing was filled in for you by me. Um, we are united by our values, so check this out, okay? As diverse as we are, how are we still united? Here's the deal. These are basic things that all of us need to instill in one another, right? Among them is the belief that we all deserve equal respect. Clearly, these are words that we have to take seriously. And there are three simple values, equality, freedom, and justice. Equality, giving everyone the same rights and opportunities. Freedom, the ability to make certain choices, and then justice being treated fairly. These are things that we all have to take into account to make this country strong, right? These are things that you and I can each do individually to promote a better and a safer country. Um, the news has been crazy lately, right? And there's been a lot of issues rising up and we have to continue to push for these for everyone, regardless of, of who you are, where you've come from. You deserve these three things. And even though we're a super diverse country, I believe we can reach that. Do you believe all people in our country receive what is listed? I think this is a very tough question, isn't it? Honestly, um, it's a tough sell, isn't it? We've seen issues of inequality. We've seen issues of injustice. We've seen issues of freedoms being revoked for people. The, 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 the thing we have to do as a country is push for those rights for all of us. You can do it, I can do it, we can promote it, and in the end, hopefully good things can come from it. So that's the end of the slide, right? We're just kind of getting into the basics of our democracy and where we came from and basic rights that all of us should have. I want all of you guys to take a second to, to you know, think about those things, to read the chapter again, to get some more basic information about our country, you know, and, and where it has come from and the groups that have founded it. And tomorrow we'll hop into um, some more stuff revolving around chapter one. Remember, your first test will be on Thursday over this material, over the PowerPoint, over the notes, which you should have all of it. So hopefully you're able to get those things. If you can print them out, I encourage you to print them out. Um, if you can't, I hope that you're looking over them and you're staying on track and we'll get back and after some more stuff tomorrow. Have a great day. See ya. Bye.